For about a year now, I've been making Gran Turismo 7 money growing videos for you guys. But in this video, I'm going to share with you what I consider to be the top 3 cars that you guys can use to do just that. And just a quick heads up, I'm going to split this into 3 categories. The weirdest, the most fun, and what I consider to be best overall. And so, let's get straight into it. And winner of the weirdest category is of course, the Volkswagen Camper. Because, well it just is. I mean, let's be honest, there aren't many cars you could put on Le Mans track that look so out of place. I mean yes, it looks really cool on its own. But when you look at it next to the other cars on the track, it just looks so ridiculous. I mean, so ridiculous, it kind of looks cool. As for the handling, well, in a straight line, yes, it was fast. Corners, nah, not so much so. In the rain, forget it. And if, if he decided he wanted to drive it in cockpit mode or first person mode, you could hardly see anything out of the window. It was a nightmare. But it was a hell of a lot of fun. Now, if you haven't seen this video already, the link, along with the links for the other videos, will be in the description. I will also put them at the end of the video for you guys. But for the weirdest category, Volkswagen Camper. It just has to be. And now we come to most fun. And it is the Jaguar XJ220. Yes, I'm slightly biased on this one because this is my absolute dream car. Now, I didn't just choose the Jag because it's my bucket list car. I chose it because it is actually fun to drive. It doesn't try and kill you on every corner like Porsches do. It was fast. It's not the fastest car you can go around this track in, but it doesn't matter because it looks absolutely fantastic. It sounds just as good. It's just overall a fun car to drive. It was enjoyable. Even now, months after producing this video, there are times when I go onto Gran Turismo just to drive this car because it makes me smile. And you know what? I don't think there's a better definition of something that is fun than something that makes you smile and makes you feel good. And for me, and hopefully you guys would think so too, it had to be the XJ220. It's just a brilliant car. And every time I drive it, I enjoy driving it. Doesn't matter if it's Le Mans, Sardinia, Monza. This car is just a great car to use, to waste a little bit of time and go and earn yourself some more credits to stick in my old bank account. What more could you ask for? Looks, sound, smiles, credits in the bank. The XJ220 ticks all of the boxes. Definitely the most fun car that I've used for credit grinding. Finally, we come to best overall, which is the Mazda LM55 VGT, which is a very nice looking car. But that's not the only reason I chose it. You see, the LM55 is super simple to drive. It looks good, it sounds good. I mean, it's a VGT, of course it does. But even that isn't the reason why I chose it. You see, it's the diversity that the Mazda gives you. You can, if you want, leave this fuel map setting one and absolutely blitz the opposition. Just leave them standing and disappear off into the distance. But if you want to do it the other way, you can put the LM55 on fuel mapping 6 and as long as the weather is permitting, and this may surprise you, this is the only car I've found that you can do a 7 lap Le Mans money grind endurance run and never have to pit stop. This car, if you want to, 
can go from the start of the race to the end of the race without changing tyres and without having to fill up on fuel. And that really does make this car something special. Now, it's not only just Le Mans. You can also take this car to Sardinia and you have the same amount of diversity there. You can leave it highly tuned and you can blitz the opposition, race your ass off right to the end of the race and you can do it that way. Or you can down tune it a little bit, down tune the fuel mapping and again you can drive steadily, no pit stops, no tyre changes and just get to the end. Either way, whether it's Le Mans or Sardinia, whether it is racing hard or taking it easy, this car will let you win pretty much every single time with zero difficulty. Like I said, the only difficulty there could be at the Le Mans track is if it rains and your plans have to change obviously according to the weather. But if it's a dry race, the LM55 gives you so many different options and that is why I consider this best overall. And there you have it, my choices for the top three cars that you guys could use for money grinding in Gran Turismo. But just because they're my top three doesn't necessarily mean they're going to be yours. So please leave a comment below, let me know what cars you pick for each category and if you do or don't agree with my choices. Now, please hit those like and subscribe buttons on your way out. It really does help out the channel. And I will see you guys in the next video. For more great videos like this one, follow this link. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.